Today we're going to talk about PowerShell strings, arrays, and hash tables. And unlike the pictures on the screen, we're going to talk about none of those things. It's not a string, it's not a hash brown, and it's certainly not a radar array. What we're talking about is information that can be stored in strings, arrays, and hash tables. So let's demonstrate. If I create a string, so in this case I'm going to call my string string, for example sake, and I populate it with a value, nothing more than a couple of letters in this case, so I'm just going to call it me. And then I add to my string using the plus equals. So we say, okay, plus equals, and then I put, let's say, me too, just for fun. And that's nothing to do with the hashtag. Anyway, we add that in, and you see when we do the string, it, that those two values have been added together. So they're not separate, they've become one. So let's empty our string out and look at it again. So if I put in a string, but this time populate it with both values separated from the beginning, you'll see that that creates a array. So we have two values which are clearly separated. So what happened here? A string is happening when you declare an, a variable as a single value, while it's created as an array if there are multiple values. Keep this in mind. Now an array can also be created from the beginning. So if we create a new uh, variable, and we're going to call it array, and we declare it as an array. So this is where we use the at and the encapsulation. So once we've done that, any value we add into this is automatically going to be an array because it's created as an array at the beginning. So now if we do the plus uh, equals and then add a value, and we're going to do this a couple of times to make sure that we've got more than one value. But we can also see where it is. So we've just got the one for the moment. So we're going to add me two, and we go again and I check. And you can see that we have an array of two values. And I can do the same again and prove that we've got three all working. Last but not least in our list is hash tables. Now, hash tables are very different to other varieties of variables. Uh, they're not strings, they're not arrays in the classic sense, and they're declared slightly differently by using the squiggly brackets. Now, hash tables are different because you have a uh, key value and a value. So you have something like value and then equals, and you see you have a name and a value that is represented in the table. Also important to note that you can't add to them the same way that you do with strings and arrays. If I try to add to it, I'm going to get an error, and as you'll demonstrate in just a moment. So these are things that you need to keep in mind when dealing with hash tables. I know that they're different from the other two. Predominantly, you're going to find yourself working with arrays, strings occasionally, but mostly arrays, I would say. Now, if you are interested in learning a little bit more about hash tables, I have a video on this already. Um, please feel free to click the link and get a better explanation. We'll probably dive into those again in a later video as well. And that about wraps it up for this video. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down and subscribe for more content.